What are Wolf Riot Stars? Wolf Riot Stars are crazy. In fact, Wolf Riot Stars are some of the most extreme stellar objects we have ever found. They are also super bright. Wolf Riot Stars were discovered at the Paris Observatory in 1867 by Charles Wolf and George Riot. They tend to orbit with a twin, typically a second Wolf Riot Star. They are incredibly bright due to their high temperatures, bright enough to illuminate and ionize large gas clouds within galaxies, making beautiful reflection nebulas. Wolf Riot Stars are a bit weird. They blast out their outer shells as massive winds of particles into space, typically causing nebulous plumes to surround them. These winds can reach up to 10 million kilometers per hour. Now that's fast. Wolf Riot Stars have a surface temperature of somewhere around between 40,000 degrees Kelvin and a whopping 200,000 degrees Kelvin. So, it's recommended if you visit one, you might want to bring some sunscreen. The Wolf Riot Star 136A1, located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy close to our Milky Way, is the most massive star we've ever found. The star comes in at a whopping 260 times more massive than our sun. Not to be mistaken with the biggest star, which that title belongs to UYS Kuti, but it certainly is the heaviest. Wolf Riot stars are estimated to only survive a few hundred thousand years, as massive stars tend to fuse matter much faster than more common traditional stars such as red and yellow dwarfs like our sun, which makes them incredibly rare and short-lived since they are incredibly unstable. Astronomers estimate that there is less than 1,000 Wolf Riot stars in the local cluster. There is a star called WR104 that worries astronomers. This star is currently 7,500 light years away. We believe soon it is going to collapse and release a stupendously powerful gamma ray burst which wouldn't typically be an issue, but the poles of this star are actually facing towards Earth. And if that burst were to hit Earth, it would destroy a significant quantity of our ozone layer, causing massive damage to our ecosystem, which would result in a mass extinction event. But astronomers don't think it'll be a problem, since for it to actually reach Earth, the burst would actually have to be quite narrow, which the narrower it is, the less likely it is to actually hit us. Wolf Riot stars end their lives in brilliant supernovas, which will make a huge cloud of stellar dust which will eventually condense and make star nurseries, making a cluster of smaller stars much like our sun. It's also where we get heavier elements like platinum group metals such as gold and silver. The fate of the core of the star is a little bit more dark, as in so dark that no light can escape, a black hole, but that would be saved for a different video. This was really time consuming to make, I hope you guys enjoyed my first fully drawn and animated video. Leave me feedback and tell me what subjects you might want to see in the future of this series. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.